Hi friends, it's Miss Mahan. Today we are continuing on with our perimeter and area. Our learning target says I can find unknown measures of rectangles. So if something is unknown, that means we don't know it, but we are gonna be given enough clues that we can figure it out. So what you need to know for this is the area formula. Remember it's length times width. You also need to know the perimeter formula. It is length plus width, and then we're gonna times that by two. Previously, I wrote that it was like this, but a lot of you went ahead and you just added the length and width together and then times it by two anyway. That is the easier way to do it. So we are just going to change our formula to length plus width times two. So we are gonna be given an example like this, where it says the area is 50 meters. And they're only going to give us one side. They're only giving us the width. So we need to figure out what is the length of one of these sides. So we're gonna plug in what we know to the formula and then see if we can figure out the part that is unknown. So we have a width of five. And the total area is 50. So something, the length, something times five is equal to 50. So we're figuring out which value, if we multiply it by five, will equal 50. I know that five times 10 is 50. So the length has to be 10 meters because nothing else times five is gonna get us to 50. It has to be 10. To do this with perimeter, they might tell us that the perimeter is 22. And then the only other piece of information that they're giving us is that this length is six feet. So we're gonna plug into our formula to figure out what the unknown part is. So we have 22 is equal to six plus something times two. So we kind of have to work backwards. So if we're timesing it by two, we're timesing this by two, and it's gonna equal 22. So that means half of it, or this side and this side together, is equal to 11. So now we can tell six plus something equals 11. Well, that's easy, we know that that's five. So now let's see if our formula works that our perimeter equals 22. Six plus five equals 11. And when we times that by two, we get 22. So we know that the width is equal to five feet. I'm gonna go through a couple more examples of each and then one type of word problem for each, and then you will be good to go to do this yourself. Let's start with perimeter. Our directions say find the unknown measure of the rectangle. We know that the perimeter is 30 centimeters and we're given nine centimeters. We also know that with perimeter, this side and this side have the exact same length. So we have another nine centimeters over here. 9 plus 9 is 18. So now when we go to figure out one of these lengths that we're missing, we need to subtract 18 from 30. You can probably do this in your head, but if not, that's fine too. We can't do 0 minus 8, so we have to borrow. 10 minus 8 is 2, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So now we have a value of 12 and we're splitting that between two sides. 
because this side and this side, when it's added together, has to equal 12. And they have to be the same number. So this number and this number are the same, and when you add them together, it equals 12. So we're looking for a double with a sum of 12. That is six. When we add six together, or six to itself, we get 12. So we know that the length is six centimeters. Our next one, we're given a perimeter of 86 yards. They tell us the length is 23 yards. And we know that on this side, the length is also 23 yards. So let's add 23 and 23 together. And now let's subtract this number from our total. Our last step is to figure out the width. So we need two numbers that are the same, that when you add them together, the sum is 40. What two numbers, when we add them together, will equal 40? But the numbers have to be the same because our widths are the same. That would be 20. So we know that the width is 20 yards. Two more. This perimeter total is 42. So when we add all four of these sides together, it's gonna equal 42. We know that this side and this side are both 12. So that's a total of 24. We need to subtract 24 from 42, and that's gonna help us understand what is the missing width. We can't do two minus four, we have to borrow. 12 minus four is eight, three minus two is one. What number, when we add it to itself, is going to equal 18? We need a double with a sum of 18. That would be nine. So we know that the width is nine. last one. Our perimeter is 30. We know that we have 8 and 8, which equals 16. Let's subtract that from 30. Now we need a number that when we add it to itself equals 14. A double with the sum of 14 is 7. So we know that the width is seven and our measurement is centimeters. Next, we will do some area, figuring out the unknowns for area. Okay, friends, our directions say find the unknown measure of the rectangle. So let's start with this one in our upper left corner. We're told that the area is 75 meters squared. We're given one side, the width, that's five meters. So 75 equals length times five. For us to figure out what this L is, you can either count up by fives and see how many times you count five until you get to 75, or we can use our division skills to do 75 divided by five. This way, is much better because you are guaranteed to get the right answer. So five goes into seven one time and it equals five. Seven minus five is two. Bring down your other five. Does five go into two? No, so we need to go to the next place value. Five goes into 25 five times. And five times five is 25. So we're left with nothing. So we know that the length 
is 15 meters. Let's do this one now. We're told that the area is 50 millimeters squared. We're given just one side, the width, so 50 equals length times two. You can count by twos until you get to 50 and try to keep track of how many twos you counted, or we can set up a division equation. 50 divided by two. Two can go into five two times and it equals four. Five minus four is one. Now bring down your zero. So we're left with 10. Two can't go into one, so we go to the next place value, which is zero. Two can go into 10 five times. Five times two equals 10. So we know that the length is 25 millimeters. Okay friends, our directions say find the unknown measure of the rectangle. So let's start with this one in our upper left corner. We're told that the area is 75 meters squared. We're given one side the width, that's five meters. So 75 equals length times five. For us to figure out what this L is, you can either count up by fives and see how many times you count five until you get to 75, or we can use our division skills to do 75 divided by five. This way is much better because you are guaranteed to get the right answer. So five goes into seven one time, and it equals five. Seven minus five is two. Bring down your other five. Does five go into two? No, so we need to go to the next place value. Five goes into 25 five times. And five times five is 25. So we're left with nothing. So we know that the length is 15 meters. Let's do this one now. We're told that the area is 50 millimeters squared. We're given just one side, the width, so 50 equals length times two. You can count by twos until you get to 50 and try to keep track of how many twos you counted, or we can set up a division equation. 50 divided by two. Two can go into five two times, and it equals four. Five minus four is one. Now bring down your zero. So we're left with 10. Two can't go into one, so we go to the next place value, which is zero. Two can go into 10 five times. Five times two equals 10. So we know that the length is 25 millimeters. Two more. We're told that the area equals 240 meters squared and we're given a width of 80 meters. So 240 equals 80 times W. The W stands for width. That's what we're trying to figure out. So we can count by 80 until we get to 240 and see how many times we counted, or we can set up a division problem. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that maybe you've seen before, or maybe you haven't. So instead of doing 80 divided by 240, or 240 divided by 80, let's do 24 divided by eight. We know that 24 divided by eight is three. So if we multiply 80 times three, we're gonna get 240. We can just add those zeros back on the end after we're done with our equation. So we know that the width equals three meters. 
And now the last one for area. We know that the total area is 108 feet squared. We're given a length of nine and we're missing the width. So let's set up our division equation. 108 divided by nine. Nine can't go into one, but it can go into 10. It can go into 10 once. Bring your eight down. Nine can go into one, but it can go into 18 twice. And that equals 18. So we know that the width is 12 feet. So that is how you will figure out the missing sides for area. You will divide the total area by the number that you do have to find the number that you don't have. Here is our first word problem. It says the rectangular parking spot has an area of 220 feet squared and a width of 10 feet. What is the length of the spot? So our total area is 220 feet squared. So we're going to take our total and we're going to divide it by the number that they gave us. In this case, we're doing 220 divided by 10. 10 cannot go into two, but it can go into 22. It can go into 22 two times. Two times 10 is 20. We have a zero. Two minus zero is two. And bring down this last zero. 10 cannot go into two, but it can go into 20. It can go into 20 two times. So we know that the length is equal to 22 feet. Here is our next one. A rectangular zoo enclosure for a red panda has a perimeter of 116 meters and a length of 25 meters. What is the width of the enclosure? So we know that this side is also 25 and 25 plus 25 is 50. We take 50 and subtract it from 116, which is our total. So six minus zero is six. One minus five, we can't do that, we need to borrow. 11 minus five is six. Now we need two, well not two numbers, but one number when we add it to itself, that's going to equal 66. One way we can figure this out is to take 66 and divide it by two. Six divided by two is three, and six divided by two is three. So we know that 33, when we add it to itself, gets us to 66. So the width of this enclosure is 33 and our unit of measurement is meters and that is all so you'll have a couple of problems for figuring out the unknown area a couple of problems for figuring out the unknown perimeter and then one problem just like this a word problem of figuring out the unknown length and area so about five or six problems all together i know you guys can do it and you're going to do a great job